Thank you for watching my video. My name is Mr. Charles Monique. In this video tutorial, we will continue from where we stopped on the previous video or on the last video. So on the last video, I discussed on uh, how the agreement between uh, the active component and the passive component. I want to use this video just to make sure that uh, I explain it uh, much more about how the agreement will be reached before uh, any of your electronics gadgets will be will turn off or will be on. So in that so in that case, let's start from here. The capacitors the capacitor store energy in the form of electric field and the inductor stores energy in the form of magnetic field. You remember that capacitor and inductor are passive components. They are passive components. They, they install energy. They don't, they don't uh, dissipate energy. They only store energy in form of um, electrical field while inductors store energy in form of magnetic field. When the active component is switched on, the capacitor starts get charging and get charged to its peak value. What I'm trying to explain here is this. Between the active and the passive component, both of them are very important in our electronic device. I am using this area to explain how the concord, as in the agreement between the active component and the passive component. And I want to use it could be laptop or your cell phone being handset or our uh, television set that we often on and off. Now, in that case, I will use a, a laptop or a, a laptop. You know, once uh, you want to use a laptop and you turn laptop on, and in that laptop circuit or in that laptop motherboard, it has a place where you can, you will go and press the power button, then it will turn on. And before then, there is a concord, there is, there is, there is what you call active component and passive component. So in that case, the active component is the one that gives energy to the circuit. Why in times of passive component, they store energy. They store energy and I am, as well, the we, 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 without without uh, active component, the work of active component will not establish. The same thing applicable to passive component. Without active component, the work of active uh, the work of passive component will not complete. So in that case, before our laptop will turn on, as soon as you press the power button, before it will turn on. There will be an agreement between the passive and the active component. Once you press the power button, the active component will say, we now ask, hello, resistor or capacitor or inductor or transformer, are you ready? I am ready to dissipate an energy. So are you ready to play your own part? Then they will all reciprocate. Yes, I am ready. So you can now go on. And that communication, it goes within a seconds as soon as you press your power button it goes in between a second from there the then from there the electron will circulate as soon as the active components gives the voltage or the current to the passive component from there the voltage will circulate and in each of the motherboard they have what we call a pathway just like our access road we have our road where we can reach our various home and where we can where we can go from our home to our various office and our and and where we used to meet our friends. The same thing applicable to any electronic gadget. They have where the current, as soon as active components have given out, have dissipated the current, it has a pathway where the the current will meet the active component then the and then the passive component will store an energy so it will circulate so before then the if the arrangement if the agreement did not reach you will see that that electronics gadget 
will not power on. The electronics will not power on until they reach a concord that, okay, this one will say, I'm ready so you can proceed to so another from there, as soon as both of them agree on one thing, you will see that their yeah, electronics will power on. But if there is no concrete or complete agreement between the active and passive component, that component will not power on. At times, we may power our electronics guardian. It won't power. It means at times, it will even require us to remove the battery and plug it back and do what? Then put it back. Then from there, once we once we power it, you will now notify that the thing will power on. During that process where the thing, where the electronics device did not power on, it means that the, the concord being the, uh, being the agreement between the active component and the passive component, they haven't reached until once you remove the battery or you remove any of the parts just to make it see if it is possible for the thing to power on, then it will power on. But what I want you to understand is that at times one of the components might not be good. So in that case, once you have removed the battery, you have done all the necessary things that you are supposed to do, and it refused to power on. That you should know that one of the components, either the active component or the passive component, is not functioning properly anymore. Then that is when uh, you will look for a technician to check the problem of the electronics gadget or electronic device. So that is how the agreement between uh, active component and the passive component. So in that case, when the active source is switched off, the capacitor will start get discharged. Just as I said, when the active, when when the component, when the device has been switched off. The capacitor will, will start getting discharged. There will be it will be discharging the the current that it has stored until once you power it on, the capacitor will stalled the charge. So that is how the capacitor, the active and the passive component, how they work. And they provide that and they provide that energy to the circuit even when the active is off. I mean, when the active source is switched off, the capacitor will start get discharged, discharging, and provide energy to the circuit when the active component and active source is off. You know, remember that active active component is the source of the current. Why? And passive component, sorry, passive component is the source of the current. Why? Because of what? They dissipate energy. Right? They dissipate energy. So they are the source of current. Once the current has entered, it will go straight to passive, to active, from, from the active to passive. So let's talk about transistor. Transistor is formed from two walls. Transistor is formed from two walls. One is transfer, two is resistor. One is transfer, two is resistor. And let's see how both of them come to an existence. Thus, it's transfer resistance from one part of the circuit to other. It transfer resistance from one part from one part of the circuit to other. If at output side, the resistance is high. Then the resistance are the sorry. If if at input side, the resistance is high. Then the resistance at at the output side will be low. The same thing applicable. If the output resistance is high, why the input resistance will be low. That is why it calls transfer and resistor. It is either one will come down, the other one will go up in terms of input and output. It is transistor as well is a fundamental building block of circuit in mobile phones, computers, and several other electronic devices. Computer is another fundamental of um, 
transistor transistor is is another fundamental block of of any electronic device because in that transistor we have various type of transistors we have MOSFET, so many of them we have bipolar and so on and so forth and in that case i want i i want to make you understand that in our various electronic devices for instance uh, systems like for laptop television we touch we touch a transistor my dear believe me that that's your system that's your electronic device it won't power on because mosfet will do its own work and every other electronic component so it means that Transistor is another important electronics device in our electronics circuit. So a transistor has very fast response and it's used in a number of functions. Yes, it has a very fast function and it and it is used in, in various functions. It is used in various functions, including voltage regulation, amplification, switching, signal modification, and oscillators. This is these are the functions of transistor. That is why that is why it is very important in electronics device. There are some area you where, where you will where um transistor is used as a regulator a voltage regulator there is an area where transistor will be used as an amplification there's an area where transistor will be used as switching there's some area where transistor will be also used as signal modulation and oscillators all depending on a particular circuit that you are building so it means that transistor is very important in our electronics device. So transistor may be packed, packaged individually or they may be a part of integrated circuit. You know, some of the ICs have billions of transistors in a very small area. Yes, majority of our IC being integrated circuit, they are all Part of them, part of the, the component that makes up of that IC, transistors is there. Transistors is there. So in that case, transistor is among of those and uh, those components that make up of integrated circuit. That is to tell you that ICE and transistor is another important of electronics uh, uh, component that will be used often and often. It's very important. And in addition, transistor is a three terminal device which can act as a switch or an amplifier. It's a three terminal device which, which all depending, we have MPN, PMP, and so on and so forth. We have a MOSFET and there are numerous transistors as well. So, Though I will also treat transistor separately. I will make a video on transistor separately. And I will, I will educate you more on transistor. This one is just a, a, a summarization, a short method of uh, how transistor functions. This is just a little information about a um, transistor. So it can be controlled either by voltage or current. Thus, it, it is called voltage control device or current control device. Just as I explained on the other video, transistor, it could be called voltage control device or current control device, all depending on the types of transistor that you are about to use. Now let's talk about batteries. Remember what I said about battery. I discussed and I use battery to explain one or two things in times of um, the other videos and which I said batteries generate electrical energy by the process of electrochemical reaction which take place inside it and I told you that a battery is another important another example of active component 
and I gave and, and, and I explained a little bit about battery, which I told you that it undergoes a chemical process. For instance, if you are using a laptop and it happens to be that the laptop has charged 100 percent and there is no power supply for the moment. At the process, you will remove the, uh, the, power, um, the cable from the power socket and remove it. Then you will start using the, the laptop without any power source. It means that that battery is the power source of the laptop. Without that battery, the power will not power, then the laptop will not power on. So in that case, that was why I told you on the other video that that battery on the on that process it undergoes a chemical react the reactions, which means that a battery it dissipates an energy. If you remember what I said, batteries also dissipate an energy, and the chemical the chemicals present in the battery undergoes transformation. That chemical inside that battery, they undergoes transformation to convert chemical energy into electrical energy. Now, in that case, remember that we have liquid battery, we also have dry cell battery. Some we use liquid battery, some we use dry cell battery. For instance, our laptop uses dry cell battery. There are so many types of battery. All you need to know that they undergo in that particular battery, they undergo a transformation that converts electrical energy and uh, chemical energy into electrical energy so that is the process which battery undergoes when is dissipating an energy it converts um, chemical energy into electrical energy and i told you that battery is another important of a um, active component which i which i explained to you in, in the other videos is another important of active component we also have dry and liquid battery and dry battery they all they all the 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 two undergoes chemical reaction that converts chemical and um, that um, they they undergo um transformation reaction as in, in transformation to convert chemical energy into electrical energy and remember that ba battery also play important role in electronic circuit it is a vector part of electronic circuit as it as it supplies to the circuit i have already said it here without which the circuit cannot process signal just as i said without the battery of a laptop of a handset if there is if 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 there is no power uh, there is no electricity as long as your battery is 100 percent full it means that it can do the work until it runs down so that is to tell you that battery is another important um, uh, component or element in active component as well as in electronics device because without it, if there is no power failure, you will wait until, uh, until they bring light. But if there is battery, once it has charged up to 100%, so you are very sure that at least you will use it, depending, 30 minutes, one hour, two hours, three hours, and so on and so forth. So in that case, I discussed some um, cathodes ray tube and i told you it is used in picture in picture tube in television circuit you know um, though technology has been uh, it has been um, developed to an extent there are some televisions that you can no longer see those punch punch boxes the one that has big punch boxes we are now seeing the modern technology flash screen plasma and so on and so forth but on those hunt and uh, those hunt back, you will see a cathode tube, gray tube. It controls the, it, it, it is controlled by an electron 
gums. It is controlled by an electron gun. What I want you to understand that without this cathode ray tube, you cannot see anything on television. So electron beams strike the sulfur screen and it is what? It gets eliminated as in it will be bright. You will see the purpose of why the cathode ray tube is there. That is where you will see the brightness. You will see everything of, uh, in fact, the quality of the television is in that particular cathode ray tube because it, it is controlled by electron gun. But that is where, that is where the beauty of the television is. And you will see it on where it is uh, called base. Base, it could be single base or it could be also double base, all depending. Bear it in mind. These are the examples of a uh, transistor, example of transistor and the uh, image of a uh, battery. This is, this three leg here is called transistor and why this one is called a um, battery. And all, all these batteries are dry cells batteries. They are all dry cells batteries. So I also want you to know that uh, power supply component, active component is the power supply component in electronics. That is how it is. Active component, it is the power supply component in electronics, in electronics circuits, in our gadget, in electronic devices, laptop, desktop, television, palm top, whatsoever, active component is the power supply of the devices. So AC supply signal generates are the component which fall in this category. These are also considered as active component as they supply energy to the circuit. So in that case, what I'm trying to explain here is active component where you will see um, transistor, you will see and from transistor, you see MOSFET, MOSFET transistor, you can also see, um, is it uh, XCRO, and so on and so forth. Those are the power supply components in electronics devices. Thank you once again for watching my video. Please, if you like my video, subscribe to my channel, comment, like. See you in the next class. Thank you once again.